Howdy all, this is Shane and we're here to check out the Joyo California Sound Pedal. Now this pedal is essentially a mess of boogie in a box. It can do everything from a smaller combo, old school kind of sound, all the way through to a really cranked rectifier type sound with the voicing control set to the right. With it more to the left, you're getting a thinner, sort of older sound. With it all the way to the right, you're getting fat, fat, thick mids, big, big sound. It's perfect for DI recording. So basically, I'm gonna run this straight into my interface in my computer without going to an amplifier. This is basically an amplifier emulation pedal. You could essentially use this live, plug all your pedals into the front of it, run this out into a PA and you've got tone for days. It actually sounds extremely good. And being that it's an analog pedal, you don't get any weird overtones. It actually sounds great. And I own quite a few of these. This is really cool and it's the perfect solution for home recording when you can't crank an amp as loud as you would like. These things sound fantastic. I did blind tests with the Fender one and it sounds great. A huge thanks to Tom at Swamp Industries for allowing me to demo this. I really appreciate it. These are a great range of pedals and you can check them out at swamp.net.au. All the links are in the description below as well as a coupon code where you can get a discount if you choose to buy one. Let's give this a go. I'm playing my 52 reissue Telecaster with Joe Barton pickups. These are basically humbuckers but they sound great and they also work really well when you've got lots and lots of gain such as a pedal like this. So let's give this a shot. I'm not plugged into an amp. This is essentially an amp in a box. So what I'm gonna do is just run it direct into my sound card, straight into my computer. And in the chain, I'm also running a Boss Fender FRV1 reverb pedal. It just sounds great. So this is the dry signal on my bridge pickup. <laughs> Everything on the pedal is at 12 o'clock. Let's go ahead, turn up the output, a little bit more drive, maybe a bit more high end. So I've just cranked up the drive with a little bit more output. Yeah. So let's take a look at the voice control. With it all the way to the left, you're getting a thinner, more old school with less drive kind of sound. And the further you turn it to the right, the fuller and fatter and more modern it sounds and it sounds like a stack. So let's give this a go. It's all the way to the left now. So massive, massive sound and it sounds really modern and smooth and because the pedal's analog, you're not getting any weird type of clipping or high harmonics on there. It's really nice. Let's go ahead and adjust the EQ slightly, a little bit more top end, a little bit more low end, a little less mids for the more of that scoop sound from where it's at.
way I have it right now would be perfect for certain types of rock songs if you're recording at home or whatever. That's a huge, huge sound. It sounds warm and full. This is with it off. With it back on. Very cool. How I have it set up right now sounds pretty cool for blues. So if you're a blues player, you can definitely give this a go. Because the voicing control actually adds more mids to the signal, it's kind of tweedy almost with it at this type of setting, and it just depends on how high you have the gain. It really works in conjunction with the voice control to really take the pedal into different places. So if I was to just crank the gain up now, it would sound more like a stack than that blues tone. So let's try this. <laughs> Sounds great. So I've set it up now for a bit more of a scoop sound. Some guys will really dig this for rhythm parts. A little bit more mids. Thanks for watching, a huge thanks again to Tom at Swamp Industries for sending this out, I really appreciate it. Check them out at swamp.net.au. These are a really cool solution for home recording and for the price, they just can't be beat. I've actually tried quite a lot of different recording solutions at home and these things are the best. They can also be used into an amplifier as well, but for the sake of the test, I'm using it the way which most people would probably use it. Not everybody, but feel free to push this into a clean channel of an amp and it's just gonna come alive. I've used my AC tone a few times live, straight into a PA, and man, it was awesome. So I can highly recommend these. I think they sound great. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Very cool, this California sound is an absolute ripper. And if you're a fan of the Mesa Boogie style tones, you're definitely gonna dig this. I think it sounds great. Thanks for watching and catch you all soon. See ya.